Digital devices are everywhere, and that includes our schools. Kids are using iPads and other tablets for reading and other learning purposes. But are they reading well on those iPads? Or are kids not reading as well from screens as they do from paper, like we've mostly found in studies with adults? With adults, we found that they just don't seem to take reading seriously. When it's from a screen, they tend to read in a more superficial way because in their minds, screens are for fun and games. They are not for reading. But what do kids think screens are for? Do kids take reading from screens seriously? That's what I set to find out in this study. In this study, kids read science books, one of which was on an iPad like this, and the other one was a paper book like this. After they read each book, they were asked to recall what they remembered from it, and they were given various objects and asked transfer questions, where they would be asked to apply the information that they read in the book with various objects as part of which one would sink, which one would float, how fast would they hit the ground compared to each other, that sort of thing. So what did we find in this study? Well, when we look at memory for the book that they just read, you see that paper and tablets are pretty darn similar. We also see that kids learning from the text, those transfer questions that they were asked, also pretty much similar. Now, what did they think of the different books? Well, when they were asked these questions, you'll see that their answers didn't really vary depending on whether they read the book from paper or from a tablet. But when they were forced to pick either the paper book that they read or the tablet book that they read, now we see a difference. We see that kids are picking the screen, the tablet book, more often than the paper book. Now, if learning and memory are pretty much similar, we should expect to see pretty similar perceptions of how much they remembered and how much they learned. But that's not what we're seeing here. That means that kids might be a little bit overconfident when they're reading from a screen. In other words, they think that they read better from that tablet than they actually did compared to the paper. How about what they actually read from? When asked, how much do you read from a tablet or paper? Kids were much more likely to indicate that they read a lot from paper than from a tablet. But when you ask them what do they prefer to read from, you really don't see a difference. In fact, the most common response is yeah, either, I don't care, paper, tablet, whatever. Given how similar the findings are in general, I thought that kids would be pretty used to the idea of using a tablet for reading. But when I asked them, what is a tablet used for? The majority of them, not the overwhelming majority, but the majority of them did not indicate anything related to reading or books. Only 44% of them specifically mentioned reading or books, even though they had just read a book from a tablet minutes prior for the study. Some take home points to finish up here. First, similar memory and learning. It didn't really seem to matter if they read the book from paper or from a tablet. I do want to point out the caveat here that this is a fairly small study. It was 63 kids, each of whom who read a paper book and a tablet book. And uh, for those of you curious about my design, it was counterbalanced, which means it switched back and forth on whether they read sinking and floating on a tablet or gravity and falling from a tablet. So it was, it was uh, comparing the same text and information between the tablet and the paper. Uh, we did see a little bit of a hint, maybe let's call it a hint, that elementary school children think they learn, read better from screens than they actually do. Now this is not what we'd say is robust. Robust means that you see this effect being pretty durable across different measures and situations. In this study, we only saw an effect when kids had to pick between tablet and paper. They seem to be more likely to pick the tablet for all of the questions. Uh, we do see that kids are reading more from paper than from tablets, but they really don't have a strong preference for paper. This is very different from what we see from adults where we do tend to see a very clear, very strong preference for paper. And finally, less than half of them think of reading when asked what a tablet is for. Now this could cause some problems if they just do not mentally have it in their mind space that this tablet that I'm reading from, that I also can watch YouTube from and I can play Roblox from, it can also be used for reading. It's, this is a book, this is serious that I need to focus on. Now, it is possible that if kids don't have that connection that you 
over time will not see reading be as effective from a tablet as from paper. All right, I hope you enjoyed hearing about the study. I am happy to share a write-up with details about what I have found. And I do not have this published quite yet, but I've been asked by some teachers to share the findings. So here I am. Thank you for listening.